guys how are you happy sunday um today's lesson is going to be about king saul but before we get into all that um you already know what we do first the first step in starting off our videos um we're gonna pray so if we could all close our um, eyes and bow our heads then we can go ahead and get this lesson started okay thank you lord for giving us another day of life for letting us all be here today lord I ask that you just keep on blessing and protecting us, Lord, as you have been doing, Lord. Even though the numbers might be going up or, or places are starting to shut down again, Lord, I ask that we not lose faith or trust in you, Lord, because you know everything that's going to happen before it even happens, Lord, before we even think about it, Lord. I ask and pray that you just keep on protecting us, Lord, especially those that are still out there working. And even those that aren't working, Lord, I ask that you just protect all of us and hold us in your hand and cover us in your holy blood, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've done. And in your name I pray. Amen. Alrighty, guys. Um, so like I said, today we're going to be talking about King Saul. Um, but before we get into it, we're going to watch a quick little video and then I'm going to let Adrian... In the time away. of the prophet Samuel, Israel was a nation under the guidance of prophets and judges, ultimately ruled by God. Israel, however, wanted a king. Like all other nations, they wanted a man of their own choosing to rule them. Samuel was perplexed by this idea and knew this was a bad decision. The people of Israel demanded a king. As usual, Samuel prayed. God answered his prayer and told Samuel, Obey the voice of the people. They have rejected me from being king over them. Solemnly warn them and show them the ways of the king who shall reign over them. He told the people, You'll be disappointed in the king. He will tax you take land and crops from you and work you harder than you thought possible. The people were persistent. In the tribe of Benjamin, there lived a young man named Saul. He was taller and better looking than anyone else in the whole nation. This was the kind of king that the Israelites wanted. Samuel anointed Saul as the king of Israel. In a grand coronation ceremony, Samuel presented Saul to the people. Long live the king, Israel shouted. The new king got right to work. One of Israel's enemies, the Ammonites, invaded an Israelite city. Saul summoned the people. The men came, hundreds of thousands of them. They gathered as an army, surrounded the city, and slaughtered the enemy. Saul went out again with his army and slaughtered another invading force. The more victory Saul had, the prouder he became. Israel and Saul soon forgot that God was responsible for their victory. But then something changed. After yet another successful battle, Saul was supposed to wait for the priest Samuel to come so he could offer a sacrifice. Instead, he decided that he himself was worthy of sacrificing to God. This was a big mistake. Samuel showed up soon after and confronted him. You have sinned, Samuel told him. God's favor and blessing on Saul was about to change. Things got worse. Sure, Saul was enjoying great military success, but he was also disobeying God's commandments. As Saul came to one enemy city, preparing to conquer it, God told Saul and his army, destroy everything. But Saul disobeyed. Instead, he took the good stuff for himself. He didn't destroy it. He stole. God had to reject Saul as king of Israel. Later on, when God chose David to be Israel's next king, Saul's fury increased. He was jealous of David and called out his entire army to find David and kill him. Sadly, Saul's life came to an end during a battle with the Philistines. He was wounded by an arrow from the enemy. Rather than be killed by the enemy, he decided to end his own life. He fell upon his sword and died. What a tragic end for Israel's first king. They had wanted a king so badly. They thought they had him, tall, strong, handsome, and a great warrior. But he rejected God. 
so God rejected him as king. Hi guys! I miss you guys so, 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 so much. I'm so glad to be back. Alright, so how was that video? Wasn't it intense? Like, it started out so good, ended up so bad. So King Saul. Um, let's do a little bit of review. So what did we learn from this story? We learned that King Saul was chosen by God. We saw how Samuel, he prophesied to him, he told him, told him what was going to happen. And he chose to disobey still. Everything got to him. The money got to him. The power got to him. And he thought that he could do better than God. And one thing that we can learn from the story is that sacrifice is not better than obedience. Obedience will always be better than sacrifice. It's better for you to obey than than have to sacrifice something. It's better for you to have to it's better for you to do the things right the first time than do it wrong and then have to ask for forgiveness and then there's consequences. Sacrifices and consequences are kind of the same thing, guys. So that's what you can learn from King Saul. And it even says it in the Bible, Samuel and 1 Samuel 15 22 through 24, it says, But Samuel answered, What pleases the Lord more, burnt offerings and sacrifices or obedient or obedience? It is better to obey God than to offer a sacrifice. Refusing to obey is as bad as the sin of sorcery. So that means witchcraft. Being stubborn is as bad as the sin of worshiping idols. And what are idols? Things that we worship or things that we make bigger than God. You have the re you have rejected the Lord's command. For this reason, he now rejects you as king. So Saul lost it all. He lost. He went from being the first king of Israel to now being nothing. Then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned. I didn't obey the Lord's command. I didn't do what you told me. I was afraid of the people and I did what they said. So you see something that's very, that you can see here is that Saul, instead of listening to God, he listened to the people. Guys, no matter what, you always listen to God first because people, they're not perfect. They're not going to tell you always the right thing, but God will always tell you the same, the right and the perfect thing. You're always going to do the right thing if you're listening to God. So one thing that you can remember from this lesson is Obedience is better than sacrifice. Let's all say it together. Obedience is better than sacrifice. All right, guys. So I love you so much. And I'll be waving to you guys <laughs> from the cars. Um, and I love you. And I can't wait so I can hug you and mess with you guys and just have all of you together again, okay? But that'll be soon. Okay.